and welcome to a new episode of Versus, where we have two aircraft models going up against each other. And in today's episode, we have two Boeing 737-200s, both from Ryanair and in scale 500. Model number one is from Big Bird. The model was produced in the year 2001 and I got it secondhand from a retailer. The set in which the model is included came at a cost of 64 euros and 50 cents, which averages out to a price per model of 21 euros and 50 cents. Aircraft number two is from Harper Wings. This model was also produced in the year 2001 and I got it secondhand from eBay for 18 euros. The boxes have fairly different layouts, where the helper box still features the old helper box design with pictures of the aircraft in real life and some additional information. The Big Bird box features a cutout and an image of the real aircraft on the back side. The boxes differ in size with the helper box being considerably smaller than the Big Bird box. Of course, the Big Bird box does also feature two other models, but even if it had only featured one, the size difference is significant. But now let us take a closer look at the aircraft models themselves to see where they are identical and where they might differ. A quick side note, the Harper model features the Ryanair standard livery used at the time this model was released, while the Big Bird model features a special anniversary livery, but we will focus on the features of the models and not the liveries as such. Now the first thing I would like to take a look at is if there is any height difference between the models. As they are both scale models of the 737-200, there shouldn't be any significant difference. But what do you know? That is a rather significant difference, I would say. And given that the 737-200 was originally built so it could be loaded by hand without any use of GSE, I'm very much tending to the conclusion that the helper model is quite a bit too tall. But let us continue with our tour around the models and go a little more into depth. So if we start off with the tail section and more specifically focus on the vertical stabilizer, we can see obviously both feature the Ryanair branding, but I would say that Harper did well here in catching the blue tone of the Ryanair branding. In my opinion, the Big Bad model here has the tone a little bit too dark. And since we're talking about maybe being a little bit off with the colors, well, both aircraft obviously were registered in Ireland and should feature the flag of the Republic of Ireland, but Funnily enough, I would say both of them look more like the Italian flag. If we then look at the very tail of the aircraft, we can see that Big Bird did add some detailing around the APU exhaust, where Hapa clearly skipped over this detail. But there are many more differences to be explored, so let's move on to the front of the aircraft. Obviously, there are differences in the livery, but we will ignore those. But let's focus on the front cabin door, or rather, the little square underneath, which we see here on the Big Bird model. That is a feature we don't have on the Harper model. This is basically where the aircraft would have stored some stairs to the cabin, a feature that is rather unique for Ryanair 737s. But the differences keep coming if we look at the cockpit section. Both of course have the cockpit windows, but that's all we get from Harper, where Big Bird also added the window wipers. But even though it's just one detail more, I would say that overall the presentation here from Big Bird is way better than what Harper managed to do at the time. I do also very much prefer the shape of the mold here, the cockpit section, from Big Bird rather than Harper. And sure, you could argue that the Big Bird model is maybe a little bit pointy around the nose, but overall I still think it is much better than what Harper has to offer. And the differences keep coming when we look at the engines, because here the Big Bird model actually does have some safety relevant markings printed on, as well as the silver leading edge, where Harpa, well, they have the silver leading edge, and that's it. Where the models are much closer than is actually when we look at the physical detailing of the engines. Here I think Harpa has done a decent job just as Big Bird. But I would actually say that perhaps Harpa has a slight edge over Big Bird here when we look into the engines from the front. Because I do prefer that the inner side of the engine is of a darker grey tone with Harpa. Where both models are also equal is with the addition of the emergency exit just above the wings, which of course leads us straight to the wings, which we should also take a look at. Now the Big Bird wing features obviously the flap slats and spoilers. It has the marking for the emergency exit and this gray stripe for additional detailing. However, as far as I could make out, this wing should actually just be white and of course with the marking for the emergency exit. So they've kind of added too much detailing here. The hub wing, well, I 
do actually prefer how Hairbar managed to carve out the flap slats and spoilers. I think that looks better than on the Big Bird wing. The color of the wing is also historically correct, but of course it is missing the marking for the emergency exit. The underside of the wings, well, there's not much to say. I couldn't really make out if the Big Bird wing should have featured a registration code, but what is correct is that the HAPA model does feature it because on the standard array that was definitely the case. Then another point where the Big Bird model sets itself apart from the Helper model is the fact that they have added the landing lights. A simple little detail that however adds a lot to a model and it's a shame that Helper to this day doesn't have this as a standard feature. Where it then looks like the Big Bird model starts to play around with Helper is when we look at the landing gear. On its own, the helper landing gear looks okay, even though the main landing gear obviously has way too huge wheels. But when you compare them, you just see how much better detailing the Big Bird landing gear has. And Big Bird even added some printed details, again, something that helper to this day does not have as a standard. When it comes to the belly of the aircraft, well, here I actually think Big Bird is a bit more confusing. They added a hole for a stand which is not included with the model, where helper just opted for their logo. Although Big Bird clearly thought about the landing gear in this case, which Halper didn't. So I guess points to each side. But the story that Big Bird just adds a little bit more detailing is pretty much consistent throughout the entire aircraft. So it's no surprise when we look at the doors to the cargo compartments that Halper just added a square, where Big Bird actually added just a little bit more. Now, in conclusion, it would perhaps be a bit harsh to say that the Big Bird model picks up the Hapa model and wipes the floor with it, but it's also not far off. Apart from the fairly constant superiority of the Big Bird model when we talk about print quality and especially amount of details that were included, the Big Bird model is also miles ahead when we talk physical detailing. I'm here especially thinking about the landing gear, but also very much the mold used for these models. The Halper model looks more like an old generation model with some fairly average and barely fitting new generation landing gears fitted on, where the Big Bird model actually resembles what I would call a true to scale die cast model. Of course we know that Big Bird doesn't exist anymore and that Halper today is the dominant force in the scale 500 market. But when I look back at the year 2001 when both these models were released, I can only feel like we all missed out on a lot and that I have very little doubt which of the two companies I would rather have liked to remain in the market. Now with that we have reached the end of today's episode. If you have enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like that would be very much appreciated and of course if you are new around here why not hit subscribe that would be absolutely awesome. With that I'd like to say thank you so much for watching hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.